Hey, I'm Kristen with Blazing Milestones. I'm a pediatric occupational therapist and mom of a 12 week old. Today, Jason and I are doing tummy time. I'm using the boppy pillow and I'm using the play gym again. What I do is I take Jace and I place him on his tummy on the boppy pillow, just like this. I'm gonna support his arms and place his elbows under his shoulders. And I'm just going to kind of sit on this side. You can already tell that he's getting stronger in tummy time with this nice posture that he has. And he's maintaining. And what I'm trying to do is just kind of engage him with the play gym. So like I'll shake it around to try and get his attention to get him to look up. Yeah, do you see that? Wowee. Oh. So use the play gym to kind of guide your baby to visually track some of these objects. Yeah, where's it going? Where's it going? You gonna follow it? Oh, where did it go? There it is. Did you see that nice little tracking that he followed the object? If your baby needs more support, you can keep propping them if they slide down to make them a little bit higher to tolerate it a little bit longer. Yeah, do you see the purple one? So I just kind of push the play gym down and bend it and move it into all the different directions that I want him to kind of engage and look at. Uh oh, more spit ups. That's okay. Do, 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 do. Where is it? So this is just a fun alternative way. Um, now that he's a little bit older and he's really tracking objects and turning his head all different ways to really engage your baby to tolerate tummy time a little bit more. Give them a little bit more support. Yeah, wow, look at that. And get them to look at objects in all different visual fields to really guide where the head and neck are going. Yes, you're gonna talk to them and really strengthen those muscles at a higher level. Now, he, gravity is not pulling him down as much, but he's pushing with his arms more to try and find where the objects are. Yeah, where'd they go? And I'll just kind of move it side to side, wait to see what object he really engages with. I can even just give him a little shimmy, 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 shimmy shake. Wow, and that just gets his neck up even higher into that extension. I can give him a little assistance if he needs a break slide his arms underneath. Okay, there we are. And already he's tolerating over a minute of this position, which is beautiful to see without fatiguing. Where's the fishy going? So again, this is just a fun, playful way to engage them in tummy time, just using your play gym instead of always having a toy right in front that you have to move. This is really flexible and easy to move around, so it's a nice option. Good job. Good job. You need a break? And just like that, he needs a break. As soon as he starts to fuss, I'll just kind of rotate him and pick him up a second. Hooray, that was awesome. If you have any questions about your child's development, talk to your pediatrician. Continue to work on different ways of doing tummy time and playing with your baby to promote development. If you have any questions for me, you can contact me in the email below.